Even though he started off in blue, I've always fancied myself a red person. Hey, toy fans, I'm here with another one of our uh, Fortnite toy openings. So, of course, this time we're taking a step away from the 6-inch Legendary series, and we're going to be looking at the Solo Mode series 4-inch action figures by Jazzwares. And today, kind of kicking in and keeping with our winter theme here, I'm looking at the Ice King, but this is not just any Ice King. This is an Ice King and Black motif. Very scary looking villain. Now, this one was out not too long ago, and I happened to see this uh, passed up a long time ago over the summer, and then decided to go ahead and pick it up. It does boast 28 points of articulation. We see it's Ice King and Black. We get the in-game skin over here. And then we get to see the Ice King and all of his armored glory here, along with his scepter. Pretty cool stuff. I like these packages uh, versus the old clamshells because, you know, we, we get a card back and we get to see the bubble here. And they're a little bit easier to open than the clamshells. Let's head to the back. On the back, of course, we got Fortnite, the Ice King Black, all hell, the ruler of ice and snow. And he is pretty intimidating up there. Down here, we do get some cross-sell art. We got Unpeely, we got Phoenix, Triggerfish, which I have, and Unpeely, which I have, which I can't remember if I did a review of or not, but, you know, if I haven't, eventually I'll get to it. And Kit. I am on the lookout for Phoenix, so, because that's one I'd really like to have in my collection. Now, for the most part, the packages, you know, they're pretty simple. You've got a little bit of that fracturing in the back to kind of make it look like they're about to fall off the fracture and land on the island. But other than that, that's it. There's not a lot else to say about the packaging. We gotta get this one out and get to battling. And of course, this is Ice King and Black out of package. And I gotta tell you, it looks beautiful. He does come with the original Ice Scepter here, and that was his harvesting tool. And it's not in the black version. It's kind of in the, the standard version. It's got kind of a glowing gold globe in there, the blue metallics, and then the gray wrap on it as well. And it looks nice. It looks the part. It looks like a scepter. Actually, that'd be a pretty cool scepter to make in cosplay. But the real hero of this is actually the Ice King here. Now, the Ice King does boast this kind of flat face with the eyes actually sculpted on and then everything else painted in. And as the 28 points of articulation go, he has the hinged kind of ball swiveled head. And it is open here at the bottom, so he's able to look down. He's able to look up about that far. There's some hindrance with his hood here. Uh, one thing to note is that the head itself is actually kind of a softer plastic, so these horns are not going to have to bother about that hurting anyone. It does have those ball hinge shoulders, and these are added on there, so there is a little bit of hindrance. He's only able to go up about that far because of it. His uh, ball hinged elbows, the same. There's some hindrance here due to the armor that's on him and some ball hinged wrist. And he's got a pretty good range of movement there. He does have that ball uh, torso here. It's a, just a, a, it's just a ball torso. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what it's called, ball and socket. Uh, there's no waist uh, turn here on this one, um, but you do have the kind of ball socketed hips that have a pretty wide range of movement. It's able to split out pretty far. You've got that thigh cut up at the top, double hinge knees, which is pretty good range of movement. And the, the knee pads here are part of that hinge, which makes it look really good. He does have those rocker ankles along with the turnable foot. So there's a lot of really good articulation here. Uh, as far as his scepter, it holds in his hand actually really well. And like so far, I haven't had any joints on this one that were kind of seizing up or giving me issues. Unlike some of the other figures I've had, especially like Cabby, which I was afraid about breaking. This one has been pretty, pretty good. Now I did grab, because I have both, um, these don't come with them, but I have both the regular ice uh, King Ice Bling and then the... Uh, red or black ice bling as well so we'll take a look at the blue see how it looks on them looks pretty nice <laughs> i 
but the one we're all really wanting, the one I think that's going to fit him the best, yeah, there we go. His red ice bling right on the back. That looks good. And this, I believe, I got this in like a weapons pack. So um, I think the, the blue one comes in like the mythic goldfish. And the red one, I think, comes in um, like one of the, the weapons packs. Or it might have been with the uh, Grotto Henchman uh, set that that one came in. So it's still pretty cool. Oh no, I happen to really like this guy. I think he looks awesome. Um, he definitely fits the part as far as the four inch action figure line for what Jazzwares is doing with the Fortnite series. They've got a lot of grand and really cool figures. Um, they don't come with quite as many accessories as the Legendary series. However, you know, we got lots of different packs and things that we can get to supplement that down the road and get different weapons, gold weapons, wraps, vehicles, playsets, and things that we wouldn't get with the six inch line. So as much as I love that six inch line, I still really like the four inch line and probably play with it more than I do the six inch just because six inch for me is more posable line for shelf display. Four inch feels more like just a good play line. Now, that's all I got to say about the Ice King in black. Remember, they're not dolls. In this case, they're action figures. Action figures with a frozen disposition and a grand red attitude. When I'm not recording videos here on YouTube, I'm actually over on a podcast on MarvinDogMedia.com called Talking Toys with Taylor and Jeff. It's a really cool toy podcast. Be sure to check it out. Also, I need your help getting my YouTube channel to grow. Be sure to subscribe down below with that big red button. Hit that bell for notifications so you can be alerted of anything that comes from me to you. Like this video, it helps YouTube know that you like what I'm making and comment down below. I like chatting with you all.